And honestly, I think that's why I like getting these pre-owned anime figures, even though they are of older anime, they still have great color, great design, they're really affordable, and they... I sense them. No, it, it can't be. Okay. Um, and I think that's why I like getting these pre-owned anime figures, even though they are of older anime, they still have great design, great color. I smell them. It, it, it can't be. It, it, it can't be. Has the day finally come? I can't believe it. The day has finally come. Oh my god. Vanilla? Oh god, okay. Uh... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, ladies? Ladies, how we doing? How we doing? Good, good. Kindred? How we doing? I'm not a furry. I don't think that counts. Uh... Oh my god. They're here. They're actually here. It can't be! After all this time waiting and waiting... They're finally here. We, we gotta unbox them! We, we got... Wait. It's too easy. Last time when a guy in a van promised me Neko Para bunny figures, I woke up 10 miles south of Las Vegas with nothing on but my knee socks and a rather uh, uncomfortable tattoo on my lower back. No, I, I don't like this at all. It's, it's way too easy. I only have one option, and that's to utilize the tool of every mid-twenties American man. Let's catch ourselves a catfish. <laughs> So, all right, I don't feel like really damaging these boxes anymore. So, uh, I'm gonna stop this gag now. Beep 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 beep. Nakapara figures coming through. Beep 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 Check this out. Boom, boom, boom. And I myself must transform into my true Neko appreciation form. Boom. All right. Excuse me, Vanilla. I'm just gonna uh, set you aside here. It is uh, actually really difficult to get a body pillow to stand up on its own. I didn't know if, uh, didn't know if you guys were aware of that or not. Oh, it is spicy today in California. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe, uh, Wipe the sweat off my brow. That's right. I got the towel. Now you guys know me. I absolutely love Nekopara. I've made countless videos on Nekopara in the past. Uh, if you could take a look at my channel, I have several videos ranging from different merch from Nekopara to figures and all sorts of other goodies. From the characters to the story to the art, I absolutely love everything about the Nekopara universe. And anytime there are new figures, any sort of new merch announced, I am like a kid on Christmas morning. However, the figures that we're gonna be looking at today are going to be kind of in a league of their own. Something I've been so incredibly excited for ever since I first saw their released artwork. I also will apologize up front if I do sound a little bit off. I've been getting over a little bit of a sinus cold thing over the past week or so. Don't worry, I don't have the virus. I think every single orifice on my body has been checked by a doctor over the last week, so uh, I'm pretty sure that if I did have anything like that, they would have known by now. I am a changed man in, in many different senses of that word. But that's right, today we are finally gonna be taking a look at the native 1-4 scale Nekopara chocolate and vanilla bunny suit figures. I don't know if there's ever been an anime figure release that has made me this excited to do an unboxing. I am literally like a weeb on Cat Girl Christmas. That's a holiday I just made up. But first things first, I gotta talk about these boxes because they are such a huge improvement in my mind since the uh, original 1-4 scale binding Nekopara figures. These boxes have so much more character to them with the patterns and all the different color. Having the lace and the bow and the bell and the chocolate and the cursive on the front and of course the Nekopara logo proudly displayed. It's just an amazing looking box and I think it's a huge improvement on the original binding 1-4 scale boxes they did. Uh, just really helps capture the, the true character 
of these uh, anime girls. Now this would typically be the part in the video where uh, I ask you guys, oh, okay, which one are we gonna open first? Are we gonna open the chocolate? Are we gonna open up the vanilla? Whoa! Yeah, we're not doing any of that. We're opening vanilla first. I've waited many of months to receive these figures and uh, I'm gonna be opening up my true waifu first. Now believe me, I still appreciate chocolate. You can't have vanilla without chocolate. That's a uh, Costco bundle deal I'm willing to take. But uh, I think my heart does truly belong to vanilla. She just, uh, I just want her to like make really nice meals but not let me eat them. Like I have to watch her eat these really nice meals and then I get like McDonald's scraps. I just want her to take one of those like big logs of salami that you find at like grocery stores and uh, not like hard, but kind of just like tap, tap, like hit me on the face and stuff with it. You know what? Don't, don't leave that in. Okay, don't. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't care. Leave it in. No. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? At this point, just leave it in. What else could people judge me for? So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the binding 1-4 scale bunning suit vanilla. I have been waiting so long to say that sentence. I am just, I'm, I'm actually getting a bit emotional right now, okay? And I don't know if it's because of the cold medicine I'm on, but uh, I'm feeling a lot of emotion, you know, around my, my eyes and other, other regions of my body. Doctor, scalpel. I literally did that on the first try. That was kind of scary. All right, you guys, the seal's been broken. Let's go ahead and open up this beauty. Oh my God. She's completely covered in, in bubble wrap. I can't see a thing. I can see her legs. Her legs look good. Oh, and that smell just... Oh, you know, a lot of guys are like, oh, what if a girl sent me your panties? Oh, that would be so cool. I'm over here like, nah, bro, just open your figure boxes. That's, that's the only smell I need in my life. All right, I think uh, I probably took about five years off my life doing that, but it was worth it. Tape number one, tape number two, tape number three, and we have freedom. It looks like in this back package, we have all these different accessories and, uh, I can't quite tell, but does the plastic have like a little bit of a different hue to it? Huh. Looks like it actually is colored a little bit. All right, and we're gonna very, very carefully, like the touch of an angel, go ahead and take off this top piece. We are going to very slowly and carefully remove her wrapping. Oh. Oh. You know, just this past winter, I decided to do some camping here in California, and on the last night, we had a particularly bad storm come through. It was just really cold and rainy and windy and just absolutely miserable. We woke up right before sunrise, and uh, we were able to see kind of the orange glow of the sun coming over the horizon, over this kind of mountain ridge. And as the sun rose and light kind of spread across the landscape, it, it just pushed all the gray and brought life back to the world. And for the first time in my life, I felt like heaven wasn't an eternity away anymore. It was it was right there at my fingertips. And that's how I feel seeing this vanilla figure for the first time. It looks very freaking nice is what uh, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I am... I am a happy boy right now. Ooh, vanilla, you are a... You are looking like a snack. All right, I'm gonna briefly set her aside here and I am gonna have to cover her up because uh, she didn't come with any sort of brassiere or, or booby support device. So we have her hair, we have her hair, we have her tail, we have her little bra left. And it also looks like we have some sort of foot support peg thing. All right, and that's it for the accessories. So now we can finally assemble her. Sunshine and lollipops and Vanilla looking so cute. Is this, is this a magnet? Oh, binding you absolute gods. Thank the Lord. They actually used magnets for her, her little bra here. Uh, that is, I am so thankful for that. For some reason, I struggle so much with any sort of like nipple covering, armor covering. I can never do it. It never goes on the right way for me. So thank you, Binding, for using magnets. You just made my day so much easier. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and put on her tail here. All right, that went in super easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, putting in her hair here. I just wanna make sure I put it in the right way. All right, phew, the hair was a little bit stiff getting into the uh, the holes there, but uh, I finally got it. It wasn't wasn't too bad. And there we go. I think we got her on the base there. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Oh, we did it, you guys. I knew if we just worked together, we can make this happen. Okay, and I guess this is the part of the video where I'm supposed to uh, give you guys my, my first impression, and uh, it's kind of hard for me to put it into words right now. I don't want to get carried away and say this is my new favorite figure in my collection, but uh, 
This might be my new favorite figure in my collection. Everything about this figure is what I was hoping for when I first saw the artwork on it. Uh, I wanted a vanilla figure that was unique, that was sexy, but still had some pop, had some shine, had some more character to it than their previous One Fourth figure. Now believe me, I still love those original One Fourths. I think they're very good figures, but uh, I think they lack a little bit in and just pop and shine and kind of just showing off a little bit. And I think that's kind of why I like this vanilla figure better is you have more color hues, you have some pop to it. It's just, I, to me, it just has a little bit more life. The overall pose and expression in my mind is just absolutely perfect. Even down to the real fabric on her leggings and the shine of her shoes, it just, it is such a nice looking figure. Overall, I would say this is a near perfect vanilla figure. I mean, there are a few little marks here. There's a little bit of a mark there on her clothes, a little bit of a mark there on her chest. Uh, not sure if I can get that out or not, but uh, other than just a few very small little discrepancies in the paint, uh, it looks amazing. You'd have to really nitpick to find issues with this figure. I mean, even down to her bottoms, if you do want to remove them or put them back on, they just clasp on the side here, which is a design that usually never works out very well. I hate it when figures do that. But uh, on this vanilla, they work super easy. I've done it a few times now and uh, it's no problem at all. And if I can do it without breaking this figure, then I can assure you everyone at home can do it without breaking the figure. Overall, just amazing. I, I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to show you guys the uh, the B-roll for these figures because I think it's going to be some of the the best yet. But that's only half of the uh, Necopera girls we have to unbox today. Uh, don't forget about Chocla, you guys. Don't be rude. I totally forgot about this until now, but uh, I had probably one of the cringiest dreams the other night, uh, kind of right in the middle of when I was sick, you know, when you get those kind of weird, sick dreams. I had this dream that I was back in uh, like middle school or maybe early high school and Vanilla herself got transferred into my school. And I had the absolute biggest crush on her and I was trying to work myself just to talk to her and everyone was telling me, oh, she's super nice. Like, just go talk to her. She's super easy to talk to. And I was so just like, oh. It was literally like the stupidest dream I've ever had. But uh, I woke up and I was just like, man, I kind of wish, uh, kind of wish I could have seen what uh, what happened there. All right, and with that, Chocla is free and God damn Chocla. Has she always been this thick? Jesus. Damn, Chocla got that cake and I'm not talking about her full-time job. All right, once again, I'm gonna have to set her aside here. She is, uh, she is very naked, so just bear with me a second. And look, you guys, like, I know eventually I'm gonna have to say my piece here about the uh, controversy about Necopera and, and specifically to do with their age. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just get it off my chest now. Let's just, we're here, they're here in front of me. Let's go ahead and just clear the air. Look, I know that canonically, colonial, col colloquially known that Vanilla and Chocla, that their age, according to the lore behind Nekopara, is 47 years old. And I know a lot of people have issues with that, and believe me, I, I get it. But to me, hey, you know, I know that's about a 20 year plus age difference between me and them, but I'm kind of willing to work with that. What, you guys don't believe me? Look, I, I actually pulled it up on the Necopara wiki here. Like there, there it is. All right, so it looks like we have all our different accessories out here. The only thing we're missing is her top and there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on. Oh, binding, I love you. Thank you for using the wonderful power of magnets. And I'll give you guys the first look at Chocla here. She's so freaking tall, it's hard for me to even fit in camera. All right, hair piece number one, hair piece number two, tail into lower back. There we go, I think I got her on the base. Everything looks good and there she is. Now I gotta say, I love vanilla, I love Azuki. Um, they are definitely high on the Nekopara waifu list for me, but Chocla is a, is a close second. She is super cute. And this figure of her is, oh my gosh, it is so nice. This one really, I can't find any imperfections on it. Down to the paint, uh, everything just looks absolutely perfect on it. I love the expression and the pose too. It kind of has this sly sexiness to it, uh, kind of when Chocla is being a little bit more on her etchy side and it really just kind of captures that look very well. The way her legs are too, how it kind of raises her hips up. It was a little bit weird getting on the base because it seems like they're not even, but uh, once you actually get everything on there, it makes a lot more sense. I mean, if you are a hardcore Necopara fan like myself, it really doesn't get much better than these, at least in my opinion, with Necopara figures. I, I've collected pretty much all of them, uh, except for a select few and these, I think, hands down have been the best example. Binding did a very good job on these. And I'm not just saying this because these are my waifus. I'm saying this because they are 
extremely well done. Now I could spend the next hour talking about all the little detail and, and giving you guys my opinion over and over again about how nice these are, but uh, I think it'd be better just to show you guys how incredibly detailed and nice these figures truly are. So here it is, just for you guys, a closer look at the binding one four scale Neko Para chocolate and vanilla bunny suit figures. Enjoy. <laughs> Other good anime figures when the AP review table here is is lifting and it's not with my hands. Ooh. Now before I wrap things up here, one of the main questions I always get is AP, where'd you get that shirt? Well, I'm glad you asked. Bakaretsu.co. Minimalistic anime streetwear for the modern weave. Look, you guys, we've talked about this countless times. Are you still getting your anime shirts off of eBay and Redbubble and Walmart's discount bin? Just stop it. Please. Bakaretsu.co has some amazing designs on their website. Uh, they look great, they feel great, and they fit absolutely perfectly. They're also always adding new designs, so be sure to check it out for the latest designs, such as this recent redesign of their classic in hentai t-shirt, or of this very nice laid-back camp shirt, one of my personal favorites. If you are just looking for some really nice anime shirts, then be sure to check out Bakaretsu.co. I absolutely love my shirts. I wear them almost on a daily basis. And uh, they've been supporting this channel for months now, so thank you so much, Bakaretsu, for uh, for uh, supporting me on videos such as this, where monetization was pretty much out the window in the first uh, 12 seconds or so. So head on over to Bakaretsu.co and remember to use the promo code ANIMEPLEASE123 at checkout to receive $3 off your first order. That's Bakaretsu.co, anime apparel for the modern weeb. They do ship internationally. Alrighty, you guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as we took a look at these amazing Nekopara figures. I am just, I am so excited that we were finally able to unbox these together. I've had plenty of shots of these figures, both on my Instagram and Discord, uh, maybe even uh, with their cast off options. So be sure to check out those links down in the description if you are interested in following me on any of those platforms. But other than that, thank you once again for checking out this video. If you like this sort of content, be sure to stay tuned because I have a lot more spicy figures like these ones uh, coming out very soon. So be sure to stay tuned and I'll be sure to catch all of you in the next video. Peace.